if there is one rig that I have seen tied more incorrectly than any other rig, it has got to be the Carolina rig for trout. Whether that's using power bait or worms or a little fly or a mice tail, whatever it is, this rig gets messed up a lot. And I don't see many people tie it the true, correct, the, the, the simplest and the best way. So today I'm going to show you guys uh, what you may have been doing wrong this whole time and what you can do to tie the best version So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alrighty guys, so let's get to tying this rig here Now first I'm going to show you everything you're going to need the two first thing you're going to need right the first two are your hooks Now if you're throwing worms, I would go with a bait holder hook Preferably a size 8 you can use a 6 or a 10, but I like 8 it's a good middle range Next you're gonna have your treble hooks if you're throwing power bait now a lot of people like to throw these huge globs of power bait and frankly in the hatchery those fish are being fed pellets that are the size of this little thing right here so i don't know why people throw such big giant globs of power bait so i use a size 18 treble hook it's super small and i just put a tad bit of power bait on there enough to make it float and i get so many more bites especially on fish that have been picked over you know they haven't stocked in a long time the fish are more likely to eat this than a big old glob so Next up here, we got our egg weights. Now I like a one eighth ounce, especially in the you know winter and spring and fall months where the fish really aren't that deep. You don't need a lot of weight to get out there. And if you have an ultralight rod with thin line, this will be plenty enough to get you out far too. So last thing here, the most important thing is the Carolina keepers. Now what these are is they're basically just little plastic button things and they have a little slit in the middle and you can squeeze with the pliers and they'll open up and we're going to use that as kind of our swivel or our place you know our holder for the weight or stopper for the weight would be the best word for that so yeah all right let's get to tying this old guy so preferably on power bait rigs i like six pound test you know those fish get a lot of time to look at it being that it's not really moving so i like to do the thinnest line possible i get a lot more bites with that so first thing we're gonna take our egg weight we're just going to slide it on just like that. Boom, it's on. Now we're going to take our Carolina Keeper and we're going to use some pliers here. I've got some, you can use needle nose. I got a regular flick or a little flat, you know, plier there. And we're going to squeeze kind of right where the little indents are on each side. You'll notice when you see it, right? And when you squeeze that, it opens up that little, you know, the little stopper there. So all we're going to do is we're going to put our line through all right i had to cut the line a little bit was kind of frayed in the at the end here but i got that through and now that it's here right you notice it's strong enough to where it's going to hold that weight in position but it's not too strong to the fact that we can't move it so i can actually move this with my fingers and the nice thing is you can adjust your leader to however far you want so if you want it right off the bottom do that if you want it, you know, maybe two feet above the weeds, we'll just pull it out two feet. So instead of having to tie a whole new rig, if you had a snap swivel or something there, you just adjust this and boom, you're, you're, you're set. So there's that right there. Now we're going to take our hook. We're going to tie it on. Now the knot I will be using for this little guy is an improved fisherman's knot. I have a video on that knot. It's an amazing knot. Uh, it's one of the easiest to tie and it's super strong. So all in the little left hand or right hand corner here I'll have that up if you guys want to watch that as you can tell extremely easy knot to tie we're going to take our scissors we're going to cut that and that's it the rig's done I mean like obviously I was doing a tutorial for you guys so I was talking but you could tie this rig in probably less than a minute <laughs> if you had the you know the tools right in front of you so it's super easy to tie it's much easier than adding a swivel you're going to get way less um, line ties and especially like when you cast out, everyone's done this where you reel it in and you realized for the last hour, your power bait rig was sitting like this on the bottom, right? And it was all tangled. Well, with this, there's no, there's no swivel. There's nothing to catch the line. So it's always going to sit perfect like that. And if a fish takes, you know, takes your bait, you notice the weight doesn't move, right? The may, weight may move a little bit but the fish isn't gonna feel that resistance of the weight. So yeah, here's the rig. It's super simple, it's very effective, and it's cheap. All these pieces can be you know, reused when you're done fishing. So yeah, there's the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff you're supposed to do for YouTube video. We will see you guys next time on Humbug Outdoors Fishing.